more toward Cleveland. Yeah, good news for us. Uh, look what happened today. The temperature reached 78 in Monroe, 77 in Detroit, Ann Arbor as well, 74 in Pontiac. That's why we had some pretty big storms around here. Extra fuel for those storms for sure. And right now, the cold front is off to the west part of the state. Still 70 in Grand Rapids, but on the other side, it's 20 degrees cooler in Wisconsin. So this will swing through and still re ring out some showers. Maybe a clap or two of thunder, but again, the severe threat is over. Down by Adrian, a little shower action. A little shower action by Mount Clemens. Uh, most of the rest of this has moved either north, east, or east of us already. Uh, the bigger threat is certainly over here in Ohio into Pennsylvania. We have temperatures still in the 60s until that front goes through. We'll be a little bit on the humid side here, but not like we were earlier uh, as we went along. Rain down by Fort Wayne. Some of that may get through us here as we go throughout the evening. On Futurecast, there's the front coming in from the west, waking its way through. Again, showers with that expected. Maybe a clap of thunder as it moves by, but not severe weather. It is out of here later this evening, then the dry air starts to work its way in as we go along. With that front going through, the winds that are picking up out here in the western part of the state will also pick up around here. They're south-ish now, but the gusts are around 20 to 30 miles an hour, 30 in Flint, and we'll get some of those uh, brisk gusts, if you will, a little bit later on this evening. So 8 o'clock in Detroit, still 65. Shower chances are there. Uh, again, not too many rumbles of thunder, but can't count it out completely yet this evening. Just no more severe threat. West to southwest winds 15 to 30 miles an hour for the evening. Then turning uh, to the west tonight, 15 to 25. We get down to 39 in Detroit, mid to upper 30s on the northwest side. It is cooler air coming in. It's drier air too, so you might wake up to a few clouds. If you're going down to the ballpark, that's okay. Generally, it's partly sunny. The whole point here is it's dry for opening day. Starting kind of chilly, getting to 53. That number is below average. But if you put a couple of layers on, the sun is out, especially during the time of the ball game, that'll be quite nice. So 53 and breezy Thursday for the opener. Friday is 53 after we start in the mid-30s, Friday and Saturday morning. Some chilly mornings, we start warming up a bit more. Easter Sunday is nice with some sunshine and 62. Then we're talking some warm 72 by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And generally a pretty dry and calm forecast. Thank goodness. Michelle?